What's up, y'all? Good morning. Sunday morning, Serenity. Uh, make me a cup of coffee. What y'all up to? What y'all up to? This, 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 uh, this message was on my, um, spirit today. Let's make some, let's get some of this. Let's do the taste this choice joint. Taste this choice. So we get a nice little spoonful. You can't give up. You can't, you can't give up. No matter what, man. You can't give up. Look at that old school. I got the old school coffee pot. I'm old school. Then I got the Trader Joe's non-dairy oat creamer, the brown sugar joint. You hear how my joint whistle? You hear that? Watch when I put this up. Watch the steam come out of there. Oh, it stopped whistling. I put it back on. Now, this is why my coffee be better than yours, because look at how my steam do. Look at this. Look at this. No way your K-Cup do that. No way Starbucks do that. No way Dunkin' Donuts do that. No way... However you make the coffee... This coffee pot right here, is the best coffee pot in the world. You know why? Because it's mine. My coffee pot better than your coffee pot. Listen, this 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 message was on my spirit today, man. You can't quit. You can't quit. I know things may be hard for you right now, things may be rough. You may have taken a big loss. You may have just broke up. You may have just got divorced. You may have just been disturbed with divorce papers. You may have just got fired. You made a huge mistake on your job and you got fired. You got laid off. Your company's moving. You lost custody of your children. That's a good cup of coffee right there. Um, you know, any number of things could be going on with you right now. You just got diagnosed with a, a terminal health situation. Your mother may have passed, your father may have died, your sister may have died, your child may have died. You can't give up and you can't quit still. And I can't identify or relate to, to uh, a lot of the things I enumerated, but one thing I do know, I've been, I've been down in a very, um, fucked up situations, man. I mean, dark, bleak, no hope. And, you know, felt like giving up. Felt like quitting. This is my kitchen. This is my kitchen, y'all. Welcome to my kitchen. This is the only way you're going to see my kitchen because I'm never going to invite you to my house because I don't trust you. You might steal something out of here. You might be a thief. I'll never invite you here. And I don't want to come to your house neither. So don't even invite me because I ain't coming. I've been real, I've been in real bad situations, man, where I felt hopeless, where I felt faithless, where I forecasted the most negative visions and outcomes that will 
I thought were gonna happen and been in some real depressive states, man. Well, one time in particular, for sure. You know, I, I've never been diagnosed with depression. I've never, you know, been, I never even went to even do anything like that. You know, not knocking nobody who is. But I think, you know, depression and being depressed is, it happens to everybody. Nobody is exempt from that. Nobody gets a, a pass from that. Nobody gets to slide from that. Nobody gets to get around that. We all get punched in the mouth by life. And I'm talking about all 8 billion people. Everybody gets their chance. And I think it's natural uh, and it's just human existence that you're gonna suffer grief, right? You're gonna suffer loss. You're gonna be depressed. You're gonna be down. But it's only the strong ones that are able to come back, that are able to make a comeback you know, and, you know, I always share, I don't know if you can. I'm not going to sit on this TV, on this phone, or on this video, or whatever you want to call it, and tell you, yo, yeah, everybody can make a comeback. Everybody can, you know, become a millionaire. Everybody could be a billionaire. Everybody could be a success. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. And I ain't finna tell it to you. Because everybody don't have the hustle. Everybody don't have the drive. Everybody don't have the resilience. Everybody don't have the fortitude, the stamina, the spirit, the temperament, the confidence, the belief in self. the intelligence, we all not created equal. That's another lie that they told us. No, we not. Some people are better than other people and some people are worse than them. Everybody ain't the same, no. Some people have um, under their own volition manage themselves and manage their time to where they've read books and gathered information and have uh, become smarter and more intelligent than others. Some people have gotten high and drunk their whole life and wasted a lot of time and uh, aren't as uh, sprightly, aren't as resourceful as someone who doesn't drink, doesn't get high, exercises, read books, eats good food. See, things that we got choices over, things that we can influence, things in our lives that we can impact, we're not the same. We're not the same. We are all of the human family, but when it comes down to free will, some of us are better at uh, utilizing our time for our own personal edification, right? Our own self-help, self-reach education, and other people just weak and have no interest in that or are not into that. And, you know, and some people are uh, academically inclined and, you know, they are cool with where they are in life and that's cool and that's cool you know but my point is that we all different and I don't know if you can make a comeback from this situation or not but I can tell you this I've been down I've been down down y'all down spiritually down mentally, down physically, all at the same time. Self-humiliated, self-embarrassed, depressed, 
regretful, remorseful, vengeful, self-hateful, felt sorry for myself, felt pity for myself, negative thinking, felt stupid all at the same time. And there's even more, I just can't even think of. So I've been there. I've been there, 100% been there. And uh, I gotta go work out with a client in like about 10 minutes. So I can't stay on here too long with y'all. But one thing about me is that I've always been tough. I've always been tough. And when I say been tough, I mean tough spiritually and tough mentally. You know, I, I, I always seem to rise above adversity and I always seem to be able to turn lemons into lemonade. I always seem to take my adversity and allow it to elevate me and propel me higher than I was before. Um, and I don't know where that comes from. Does it come from my upbringing or whatever? I don't know. But like I say, I'm just an example by sight to you that, you know, if I can make a comeback from where I've been, I've been down, I've been down in the throes of alcoholism, in the throes of drug addiction, in prison, homeless, jobless, penniless, you name it. But here I stand drinking this good cup of coffee that I made and my coffee is better than your coffee because I make coffee better than you. You got to believe in yourself, man. And to the ladies, I'm talking to both of y'all. You got to believe in what you're doing. You got to figure out what it is you want to do and do it. You got to believe in yourself, man. And what you, what you, you got to believe in you. And when you say, well, Sean, well, how do I do that? I ain't never believed in me. Well, you know, there were some exercises, some written work that I used to do that helped me. There were books that I read that helped me to believe. And if you want to get with me on a one-on-one, -on -one, and it's not going to be for free, you have to pay. Uh, you can email me at the podcast with soul at gmail.com. Uh, or you can hit me on my DM on my Instagram. My Instagram page is the same as this one, the podcast with soul. And we can get on the phone I will call you, you can call me, we'll get on the phone and we'll go live face to face on FaceTime. If you don't feel comfortable talking live and you wanna talk just on the phone, we can do that too. We can do an hour. It's gonna run you somewhere between uh, a buck 20 and a buck 50 to get on the phone for an hour with me. Uh, but I can help you uh, do some exercises that I did to help you get ready. But if you don't do that, you in and of yourself have to change your thinking from not believing in you to believing in you. But you can't quit. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep fighting. Tomorrow's a new day. It's always darkest before dawn, right? You are not the only one. Your story is not unique. You're not the only one this ever happened to in life. People have gone through exactly the same circumstance that you go find yourself in right now. Maybe, excuse me, maybe even worse and came back. 
You can do it if you want to and if you apply yourself. Um, one more minute. If you apply yourself. So this is just Sunday morning serenity message. You know, you might be this close to coming off and you're ready to quit. I've been there. You know, your life and the way your life is going to turn out requires some work from you. It requires some responsibility from you. It requires some effort from you. You can't just pray to whoever you pray to and sit back like this and be like, yo, why ain't nothing happening? No. That's the dumbest shit in the world. You got to do something. Your life requires effort, right? Cause and effect. If I lean back in this chair, I will fall. What was the cause of me falling? I leaned back in the chair. I can jump out of this window right now on my head if I so choose to. And then when I break my neck, I can't say, oh God, this is the way God wanted my life to turn out. No, he didn't. I chose to jump out this window head first. So you gotta get up off that tip that some higher power or higher being is gonna do something for you without you doing anything. You gotta get out of that mind frame that somebody owes you something and you know, you want somebody to give you something. Ain't nobody finna give you nothing. You gotta make it. You gotta create it. Love yourself, man. Be kind to yourself. Instead of telling yourself all the negative and bad things you hate about yourself, change that around and start highlighting some good stuff. And it may take time. It doesn't happen like that, because I've been there. I perpetually and consistently and continually and persistently told myself I was no good. I was less than. I wasn't good enough. I would tell myself no before I even tried. I would say I wouldn't make it before I even tried. I would say it's too hard before I even attempted. No good. I did that to myself, right? Because I have been conditioned that way. And I, I found out that I needed to change that. That was something that I needed to change. And I did. And now you hear me talk now. Now you hear me talk with supreme arrogance and supreme conceit and supreme self-confidence and supreme self-love, you know what I'm saying, an elevated self-perception and a high self-esteem and you think that I'm bragging or whatever, but I've been at the opposite side of the spectrum. The principle of polarity in the Kabbalion talks about both feelings hot is at this extreme point of one pole and cold is at these, this extreme point of this side of the pole, right? So, and in between hot and cold, there are millions of different degrees of cold and hot and warm and lukewarm in between, right? So cold and hot are the same thing. They're just at the opposite ends of the pole, right? So self-hatred and self-love are on the same pole. It's just in between there's millions of different variations and millions of different degrees of self-love and self-hate, right? And then in the Kabbalah, the principle of polarity talks about uh, the pendulum swing, that as far as the pendulum swings to the left, it has to swing back to the right, the same equidistant amount. So self-hatred to self-love, right? As far as you go in self-hatred, when you get on the right track and start working on self-love, it'll swing back 
to supreme self love. It's all the same. And then you can get into the principles of neutralization and protecting yourself and operating on a higher conscious level and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's things that I studied when I was in the joint. You understand? Uh, and even before I went to the joint and after I got out of the joint, I stayed studying. I stay studying, man. But don't quit. Let me get out of here. I got to go work out with one of my clients. Um, he's on my online coaching program, but I'm getting ready to flip him over to my eight-week program. <laughs> Shout out to my man out in Vegas. Shout out to my man Ramos. He did two eight-week programs with me. Went from 161 pounds to 145 pounds cut up, ripped, shredded, and he got that look. If you want to get with my eight-week program, it's $2,500. If you want to get with my 24-week program, it's 25000 So you pick which one you want to do. All right, let me get out of here. Peace.